Venezuela, Maria Garcia de Flori. The first pope to visit Venezuela was John Paul II. He arrived on January 26, 1985, and the next day he met the Venezuelans in the midst of the overflowing joy of almost a million people who gathered on the Montalban Explanade in Caracas, where some had arrived the night before. A little before 10 o'clock in the morning, the Mass began full of fervor and devotion. In the homily, the Pope focused his message on the topic of marriage and family, a very significant topic since Our Lady of Coromoto in 1651 appeared to the Indian chief, his wife and his children. It was the first time that the Mother of God appeared to a complete family, father, mother, and children. John Paul II very wisely took this topic to speak to everyone. He began by saying, Today, as a pilgrim in your country, I want above all to prostrate myself in profound adoration before the only God in the mystery of the Holy Trinity. At the feet of the Mother of God, the Blessed Virgin of Coromoto, patroness of Venezuela, who presides over this meeting. Then he added, I wish that from this city of Caracas, as from a portic of the continent, we look back 500 years to prostrate ourselves together with the discoverers in an attitude of praise and adoration to the God who created the wonders of the new world. It is my unavoidable duty to remember and pay tribute to the pioneers of the evangelization in this country. In and to all the workers of the Lord's vineyard. Speaking of the family, John Paul II said, In order for the sanctity of the family to be preserved, the Church must continue to preach the truth about Christian marriage and family inscribed by God in the heart of man and revealed in Christ in all its depth. The stupendous reality of conjugal love is manifested precisely in communion in love communion of spouses with each other and of parents with their children. What greatness and responsibility at the same time that of Christian parents, who as a fruit of their love become temples in God and carries out his creative action. Be aware of this very high mission that God has placed in your hands and make your families a temple of God, a domestic church. To conclude his homily, the Pope John Paul II said, We now turn our gaze of faith towards the Holy Mother of God. Today the Pope, Bishop of Rome, surrounded by his brother bishops of Venezuela, will carry out the canonical coronation of the image of Our Lady of Coromoto, which will be venerated in her new basilica. With this act, we want to pay a fervent tribute of devotion and love here in the nation's capital to the sweet mother and patroness of Venezuela who accompanies her children from her beloved sanctuary of Guarnari. Before her, the Pope, the bishops, and all the faithfuls of Venezuela become spiritual pilgrims to her sanctuary in an immense pilgrimage of faith, of filial love to thank God for all the past of the church in your country. Today, we want to crown and praise that presence of Mary through the thanksgiving that springs from our hearts. Immediately, the Pope John Paul II went on to crown her, recognizing as the head of the hierarchy of the church the importance of the appearance of Our Lady of Coromoto and her message, because John Paul II was aware that Our Lady of Coromoto is the Mother of God, and with God we always win. <laughs>